How do we create a reference plane? That's one of these, and then that, uh, which is either perpendicular to or tangent to um, a surface such as this, which is, which is compound, which curves in two different directions. Well, start off with a plane which is which allows you to project a curve onto it. So that would be the top plane in this case. And then draw a line, just any line. Um, don't use a point, it won't work. So I'm going to use a, a line from the origin to somewhere like that. And I'm particularly interested in the end of this line as far as its position goes. So let's put two position dimensions in, starting from the origin. So we'll make that one three. That's good. And then go to curves, <coughs> project curve, select the curve, select the face, say OK, and you have a reference curve on the plane. Right, to create the reference plane um, any way you want, but I find it easiest just to select the line, and then you'll go to your context menu, say plane, and then you should be able to select the end of this, so you might have to zoom in a bit just to get the point, dink like that, done. So that plane there is perpendicular. It looks weird, but it's actually perpendicular to this plane, which means if I put a sketch on it, um, if I draw another line, which would become the center line of, my, say, a revolve, so if I were to use that revolve boss, um, this would be the center line. So I can draw this out, select it, select that, edge and say make perpendicular now i know that that line is perpendicular both to the well in all in all senses possible if i want to locate this i'm going to have to put a point in here and just go into 3d view put it in somewhere like that select the point select that underline line and then make pierce then i know that i can create a dimension from that point to this point and I can control the, the depth of that line because I want that line, I want this line to, to sort of go beneath um, like that. I want it to go underneath the surface so that whatever I get to revolve, revolves from underneath and I can get them to merge properly. Okay, so that's the one way. I'm just gonna hide these for now. Um, the other way is using that same curve um, if you select the end, now this is the tricky bit, you have to select uh, just this point and then you hold the shift button and you select that surface, you should then be able to create a plane which is now lying tangent to that surface. And then you can either um, get an offset, so just use the control key, do like that and then that plan there becomes the basis of your sketch, or you could have drawn that, you could have projected that curve onto this interior surface, so that whatever you project from there um, interferes with that surface so that you can properly merge them. And that's how you do it. Cheers.